to put the power of five on the palm of your hand. Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Stacy May. We had four straight days this week, Monday through Thursday, where we had a severe weather risk and several waves of showers and storms to deal with across the tri-state. Every day this week was at least very humid, and we had some steamy air mixed in with that, too. If you were out this evening, uh, it's starting to feel a little bit better out there, and it will feel a little bit better out there over the weekend. That's our first morning focus. We are now heading into a dry and much quieter weather pattern, not only for this weekend, but it looks like through much of next week. And after our active several days, that is some pretty welcome news. And it's going to be a nice, typical August weekend. Yes, it's going to be hot and humid, but we're not going to be excessive with that humidity especially. And that's what we had to feel all this week. And we've got a couple of really hot days on the way. Hottest days of the next week will be Monday and Tuesday when we take the heat up a notch again into the mid-90s. But our humidity is just going to kind of stay in that basic humid range. Uh, and that's going to be a lot better than the steamy air we had with the middle 90s for several days this week. More comfortable air even than coming later next week. And I will show you that in just a moment in your seven-day forecast, but I know you're going to like it. But here's live Doppler radar right now. We've been watching a few spotty showers and thunder showers that we had this afternoon and this evening. Nothing severe, but a little rain in parts of the tri-state diminish as we've gone through this evening. That was the plan. That's what we expected, and that is what has happened. We've just got a couple couple little showers hanging on uh, in our far eastern counties and we've got a little bit of that moving now to the south into northern Dubois County so that could bring a little bit of brief moderate to heavy rain to the Jasper area and especially points off to the east including bird's eye as long as that holds together but it'll gradually fall apart then we have one more little shower that kind of clipped Tell City moving down kind of to the south southwest almost and that will continue to kind of dive that way but you can see it is already starting to kind of fall apart. And like I said, that diminishing trend to even these couple showers will continue late this evening and overnight. Let's take you outside and see how things are looking first in Henderson. It's our Heads Construction Tower camera there, the Highway 41 strip. And we can see some of the lights of downtown Evansville in the distance too. And we'll take you now to the east side of Evansville, looking from Deaconess Gateway Hospital from our Diamond Valley Federal Credit Union Tower camera there. Some traffic there uh, on the east side, uh, but everything looks to be pretty quiet. And like I said, temperatures are starting to feel a little bit better. So we've fallen into the 70s. We're down to 77 at the airport in Evansville. And Dew Point is down to about 70. It stayed very humid for the most part today, but it will sink just a little bit more for us uh, for this weekend. So we're falling slowly through the 70s right now. I think we'll wind up right around 70 degrees. And that dew point of 70 now on that very humid, kind of humid border. Uh, and it looks like it'll sink just enough enough to kind of keep us in that humid range for the weekend and for the first half of next week. So we don't feel tolerable until perhaps later next week. But like we were talking about, we were very humid and steamy all of this week. So this is going to be a, a little bit better. Here's a look at Storm Tracker and you can see that counterclockwise spin up here to our northeast. That's the area of low pressure pulling away from us. That combined with the heat of the day fired off those scattered showers and thunder showers. But now that that's pulling away, and once the sun went down, we've really seen a diminishing trend to the scattered showers. And that will continue overnight. May see a little patchy fog develop in some spots overnight for first thing on our Saturday morning. Otherwise, plenty of sunshine, dry weather tomorrow, just a partly cloudy sky in the afternoon. We stay mainly clear tomorrow night, and then we do this again on Sunday. Plenty of sunshine few clouds kind of popping up and mixing in with that, uh, but it is going to be, like I said, a nice August weekend. So here's a look at your forecast for the rest of tonight. Mainly clear, little patchy fog down to about 70. Partly cloudy tomorrow. Yes, hot and humid, but not excessive. We'll be right around 90, 91 for the high. May add a degree to that on Sunday to a high of 92. And then we turn the heat up another notch again for Monday and Tuesday. Stay dry, stay with plenty of sunshine. Highs will be about 95, 96. It'll stay humid, but at least it won't get very humid or steamy. And then 
Look at what we're expecting now for the middle to end of next week. We drop the heat and we drop the humidity some. Highs in the mid to upper 80s, partly cloudy skies, and little to no chance of rain. We're looking pretty good, guys, later next week. It certainly does. Thank you, Stacy. Coming up, artificial intelligence is changing fast, so how could it affect your job?